Welcome back to the airboat build. In this video I'm installing the radiator and the intercooler. The radiator I'm using is the stock radiator that came with the engine. It's a 2003 Chevy Silverado radiator. It mounts with these rubber feet at the bottom and rubber grommeted eyelets at the top. My plan was to fabricate aluminum brackets for the feet to fit in on the bottom and weld that to the aluminum hull. The rubber feet from the radiator fit quite nicely into the holes I cut in the aluminum. And then I just welded this aluminum plate directly to one of the uh, cross pieces on the hull. To mount the top of the radiator, I used this uh, stainless flat stock and just ran a bolt through the eyelet on the top. And the flat stock is then just welded to the engine stand. So this whole mounting system was very easy to put together and I think it's working really well. The radiator is completely isolated with rubber, but it's still in there firmly. With the location of the radiator in this place, I do expect that uh, it'll get a fair amount of wind just from the propeller being in close proximity to it. If I need to, I'll add an electric fan as well. This is an exciting new addition to the shop. This is a new metal slash wood bandsaw. It's a 14 inch bandsaw. It uses a three phase motor running off a single phase 220 with a VFD so that I can uh, adjust the speed up or down. I've never had a bandsaw so this will be new to me but I'm looking forward to using it for cutting exhaust tubing and for other metalworking projects as well. Here you can see it's got a digital readout and you can turn the speed up to about 3,000 feet per minute. Uh, this higher speed is obviously for wood and uh, possibly aluminum. And then it turns all the way down. Um, they recommend 150 to 200 feet per minute for steel, uh, but it'll turn all the way down to 20 or 30 feet, feet per minute. Now I haven't really used it yet, I've just used it to uh, try it out on a few pieces. Right now it's running a 14 tooth uh, blade for metal. I also just ordered an 18 tooth blade which is being made and I probably will be using the 18 tooth for most of the exhaust tubing. This is a mock-up of the intercooler placement. I had a hard time deciding where exactly to put the intercooler. I wanted it near the back so it would be getting airflow driven from the prop. At the same time though I didn't want it to obstruct too much airflow. Also I wanted to make sure that it would clear the oil pan and that I would still have uh, access to the oil drain plug. 
Furthermore, um, I'm always thinking about weight distribution and balance in the boat. And then also, of course, the layout of the tubing from the turbo to the intercooler and up to the intake manifold. To mount the intercooler, stainless flat stock is bolted to bosses on the intercooler and then welded to the engine stand. This brings me to another new tool in the shop. This is the uh, handmade wrench I got from Hand Tool Rescue. If you haven't seen it, this is a guy in Saskatchewan who basically restores hand tools and uh, he made this copy from an old design and then uh, has basically been manufacturing them. So I ordered this several months ago. It was uh, just made and shipped to me uh, just a few days ago. So it's a pretty neat uh, adjustable wrench. It grips quite a bit stronger than a crescent wrench does and uh, in this case I wanted to use it to bend that flat stock and it worked great for that. The intercooler has four bosses welded into it, threaded in a kind of odd metric thread. So for each of these bosses I cut and bent a piece of the stainless flat stock and then welded it to the stand. This was a nice and easy way to fix it in there and uh, the end result is a very sturdy mounting of the intercooler. Here's the end result. The intercooler is mounted with uh, four pieces of the stainless stock. The radiator is completely mounted. Both of them are, I think, in a reasonable spot, nicely solidly mounted, and I think this should work okay. Next on the airboat build, I will likely mount the turbo and then start working on the hot side exhaust tubing fabrication. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.